Adam here for Next Level Radio. I got a chance to speak with Kit and Kelsey Yorin from the upcoming TV show on True TV Way Out West, a reality show about their outfitting business. Uh, between them, the Bullocks, and the Corals, definitely want to make sure you head over to TrueTV.com for more information on the show. It premieres July 21st at 10 p.m. I'd like to thank Kit and Kelsey for coming on again. It was a real blast to talk to them. The show looks really interesting. I can't wait to uh, see more episodes of it. For more guest spotlights like this one and other shows on Next Level Radio, go to nextlevelradioonline.com for a recap of this interview. Make sure you check out the showcast on Sunday, July 20th. If you miss it, it'll be podcast on iTunes and the website. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com backslash next level radio and follow us on Twitter at NXT level radio. And don't forget to subscribe on iTunes as well. Again, make sure if you like this one, please check out our other interviews. We have a ton on our website. Thanks again for listening. Welcome to another next level radio guest spotlight. I'm your host, Adam Gorey. Unfortunately, Ben could not make it tonight, uh, but it's his loss because I'm actually pretty excited to talk to tonight's guests as I kind of like to get out and do a little hunting every now and then. And uh, as, of course, all the animal rights activists drop and change the channel, uh, there's something about the great outdoors that's just kind of captivating. And, and tonight's guests get to live it every day. And they're here to talk about their uh, their new show, Way Out West, which premieres on True TV this Monday, July 21st. Joining me on the Next Level Radio hotline are Kid and Kelsey Yoren. Kid, Kelsey, thank you so much for coming on the show this evening. Yeah, thanks for having thank us. Thank you. Uh, so uh, what can we expect from the uh, the premiere on Monday and throughout the season of Way Out West? Um, it'll well, be entertaining, <laughs> funny. Um, there'll be some stuff that no one has ever seen before, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, Our I mean, life is just constant. Yeah. Shenanigans. It's like one thing after another with these guys. And, you know, we have a lot of fun. We work hard. We play hard. There's some pretty crazy stuff that goes on that will really capture everybody's attention. Yeah, and you guys are kind of, you know, like the show says, you're way out west. So you're, you know, I, I assume you have the uh, the benefit of kind of being pretty far away from any real civilization where you guys live. Uh, yeah. We can get there, but we choose not to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, my brother and I grew up, uh, we actually moved to Nevada for a little while when we were kids. The uh, nearest town was 118 miles from Wow. Us. That's crazy. We, we were in the middle of nowhere for <laughs> a lot of our life. <laughs> well, and, and, and the, so the show's comprised of three families, the, uh, your family, the Yurin family, the Bullock family, and the, is it Coral is right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, the uh, Yorns, the Corals, and the so, so how how long ago did the three families, you know, cross paths? I know you guys have been doing this outfitting your family at least for you know over a hundred years, but how long ago exactly did the did the three families meet each other? Uh, the three families met uh, it'd be two generations ago. Okay, um, is when they they really started conflicting interests. They were all hunting outfitters. Um, that'd be two generations ago. I'm the second generation to to be in that, or we all are, I guess. Okay, and, and, you know, by the looks of it, it looks to be mostly a friendly rivalry, but does it ever get, you know, a little out of hand, a little violent even sometimes? Um, well, no oh, yeah. been shot, <laughs> but, but it has gotten a little violent now and again, but for the most part, we all get along really, really well. Um, we are competing in the same business, but I, I've worked for all of them. My little brother's worked for everyone, and... Our parents were really good friends, and um, it's a lot of very hard-headed men that work hard and know exactly what they want to do, and they're all competing with each other in their companies, and so they're all friends, but they all secretly are trying to outdo the other. One. <laughs> I, I think that's the funny thing with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's the funny thing with uh, guys in general, especially because, like, you know, guys will end up in a fist fight, and ten minutes later they'll be best friends. Like, it's so weird. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you guys are constantly, obviously, out in the wilderness. What is the weather generally like in Idaho for these trips that you guys always go out on? Um, it depends well, on the season. Year round, so it, it, it change, changes every season. It, it'll go from, right now we're we're doing fishing trips on the middle fork of the salmon and it's around 90 degrees and 
hot. <laughs> and later in the year, I'll be cougar hunting. It'll be negative 20 and five feet of snow on the ground. Wow, that's that's uh, very the opposite. The thing about Idaho is the weather can change in a heartbeat. I was going to say that's very opposite ends of the spectrum. It's 100 degree weather, and then it's pouring down rain. Jeez. Uh, well... You know, you two um, just got married last year, correct? Back in, I think it was September I saw, something like that? Yeah. Yep. Uh, congratulations. How are uh, how you guys enjoying the married life so far? It's been busy, oh. but it's been fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I know... I'm enjoying it. I don't know how much Kelsey is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I know just from a little bit of research, um, you know, obviously, kid, you've been in through your whole life, and, and Kelsey, even you have been doing, or I guess you grew up doing a lot of... Uh, fishing and, and growing up on the water and stuff like that. How exactly did you guys uh, come to meet? Just by um, being outfitters. We had a lot of mutual friends and, and uh, ended up meeting the first time at an outfitters conference and then after that out in the middle of the wilderness. Okay. Uh, Everything kind of just messes together. Being outfitters kids is a pretty unique thing. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. I, I talked been... out the boat down the river and I rode my horse out in the middle of the river and talked to her, so. Wow, look at that. Real, <laughs> Prince Charming literally rode up on his stallion, I guess. Uh, she can tell everybody. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, he literally uh, had, like, shirt off, blue jeans, cowboy <laughs> hat, aviators, and he was standing out in the middle of the river with his horse up to his stomach in the water as I floated by in my drift boat. Oh, that's awesome. My wife and I, we got to... Uh, story, but yeah, we got when we went on our honeymoon, uh, we actually rode a horse in the water, and we had to ride it bareback. Obviously, you can't put a saddle on it. That's actually a tough. It's tougher than it looks. I mean, those horses were a little bony too. So I mean, it's so uncomfortable. I I, I don't know what your if your horses maybe are a little well fed, but I guess you you're probably used to it at this point. <laughs> yeah, they're well fed. <laughs> now, kid, I I gotta ask. I mean, say uh, say Kelsey had been from the Bullock or Coral family, would you still have uh, approached her, or is it kind of like a Romeo and Juliet type of deal? Uh, probably wouldn't have. There's, <laughs> there's a good chance I might be related to her if she was. Because oh. have been around so long that you'd never know. So I had to go out of state to make sure that she wasn't related to me. Okay. Um, well, just, just from watching a little bit of the show, it seems like the Urines are, are the most fun group Almost kind of, almost like a uh, a bunch of college kids, you know, who just come up with random ideas and just go do them. Uh, have, have you guys? I'm I'm sure the answer is yes, but you know, if so, w what exactly, as far as injuries go, uh, have you done during all these shenanigans? Oh, between Harry and I, a lot. <laughs> Matt, I don't know. He gets really lucky and just gets little things. He's <laughs> he bounces a lot better than Harry and I do. I think. Um, These like guys are pretty year, used to getting hurt, though. <laughs> yeah, just last year I broke nine ribs and Jeez. punctured along and lacerated along. Um, and that was just your 2013. A couple years before that, <laughs> Harry was like fighted out. Uh, it, it happens sometimes, but Kelsey, does any of it <laughs> overflow to you? It's always one thing after another, and you just you never know what they're going to be doing. Kelsey, does any do any of the injuries end up overflowing to you accidentally? Um, I'm pretty careful. I've grown up around all boys, being a fly fishing guide, being the only girl that does it out here, and so I'm, I'm pretty used to guys that are doing things like that. These guys kind of take it to another level, but I've gotten pretty good at watching my back. <laughs> well, uh, who is it? The downfall is having to take care of them. <laughs> so somebody over there has uh, now you you I'll, I'll pronounce it uh, I guess correctly for the West because oh, out here on the East we say coyote, but uh, you guys say coyote. So I'll, I'll stick to coyote for the purposes of this interview. Who who has the coyotes as a pet over there? Uh, it's actually Matt, or my older brother. Um, Harry, Matt, and I found them in a uh, in a culvert. And we were uh, we were out hunting. The mom was hit on the side of the road, and we saw that she was nursing. We saw her there. She was dead already, and we hunted around and found where she had her puppies and bottle raised them, and they still hang out at the house and run around with all the other dogs. Because <laughs> to me, that that is wild. I mean, uh, I assume the only reason you can do that is because you got you know you found them when they were young. You wouldn't try and and rate or try and uh, I guess lure in a an adult coyote, correct? 
Now, I've tried it, and they never came down. They always bite you. Okay. Every time. <laughs> I, I would assume that would be the case. I, you guys are definitely crazy if you're trying to even raise coyotes. And I know you guys have a, a ton of, um, a ton of animals where you guys are. I mean, do you have a number as far as, you know, horses, dogs, and all that? Or is it kind of just, um, a ranch where you can't even keep track anymore? No, you can't. People ask me how many pets we have, and I never have an answer. <laughs> We have a, a lot of dogs, a lot of horses, cows, other random pets that show up. <laughs> raccoons. Uh, I had I had two baby raccoons this year that they followed me around everywhere when I'd go outside. They'd walk along behind me, and um, I actually I gave them to my cousin when I left to, for the summer to go fishing. But <laughs> um, now, Kelsey, I know, uh, like I had said, you had had grown up, you know, basically in the wa- doing water stuff. Do you now go out with the uh, the outfitting trips or do you stay home? Well, it just depends on the season, you know, because I'm, I'm fishing most of the year. I'm fly fishing for trout spring and summer, and then we do steelhead fishing trips all fall over on the Rogue River. And so in the wintertime I get to go, and a few breaks during the spring and fall I get to go. I really love going out with these guys. It's, it's constant entertainment to, to watch them work and yeah, and, and so it's, it's fun to be a whole different side outfitting too, because I've been a part of the river outfitting my whole life, I'm fifth generation. Um, but now to see that whole side and and the hunting outfitting and everything, it's been really great. Yeah, and, and kid, did you always? Um, I mean, did did Kelsey kind of expose you to the to the water aspects of it, or did you already kind of have an idea of of what that was like? Yeah, I didn't even really know what a boat was until <laughs> I met Kelsey. You just traveled river by horse, <laughs> I, right? I'm running, the, I'm running the the biggest boat there is on the middle fork, so. Wow. I learned quick. <laughs> is uh is Phil I got thrown in the and it was like here's the biggest sweet boat on the middle fork and uh here's the drift boat, go figure out how to run it down the road. And he really excelled at both of them. It's been really fun to watch. That's awesome. I mean, it, is uh filming for Way Out West is that complete or are you still got are you guys still doing some filming uh we're gonna start it again next week we're gonna start back up we had a little bit of a break for about a month and now we're gonna start back up again oh that's awesome now can can anyone um still i i mean i don't know are you guys starting to maybe book up more trips between the three families or you know can anyone just maybe go online or give you a call and and book a trip um i've had quite a few um People contact me about going on hunts and stuff since uh, since we started filming. Um, not a whole lot yet, just just because the show hasn't even aired yet. So right. I'm sure as soon as it starts playing, there'll be more and more for all of us. How long do the trips generally last? Because I'm I'm kind of curious because you know, like I said, I, I do a little bit of hunting. I, I used to do uh, deer and turkey when I was younger, and now I actually um, I have a uh, a pointer, so we we take them bird hunting every now and then for quail and pheasant and i'm sure it's absolutely nothing like the animals that you guys have out there but what generally i guess and i I mean i'm sure we'll see more in the show but what generally does a a trip um you know what do you do in a trip and how long is a trip uh for like a sugar hunt in the winter time i do those six days um we'll sometimes be done on the first day and then we we go and hunt wolves after that and sometimes we won't the conditions won't be right, and we'll get a cougar till the, the sixth day. But um, bear hunts, bear hunts. I do five day bear hunts in the springtime. Um, every one of those that I've done so far, I've been done first day. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's the thing about our trips is that it's all about the customers, and so you have to read your customers and know what they want out of their trip, what kind of experience they're looking for. And, and uh, you find other activities to do to, to make sure that they're getting the best trip that they possibly can. Yeah, it, it sounds like something that's not really, really a hunting trip. About it's more of a, more of a trip with hunting. Okay. I was going to say, it sounds really cool. Yeah, it sounds like something I would definitely, uh, if I was ever in Idaho at least, I mean, I, I'm in Pennsylvania, so it's a bit of a, a trip. I don't even know how far of a plane ride that is. But if I was ever out that way, that would be something that, that I would definitely uh, be – you know, be interested. And I, I, although I, I will say this, I mean, my idea of roughing it, as they say, is, 
is not having cable. I'm sure you guys <laughs> are uh, used to much, much less than that. Yeah, I, I yeah that's jokes, jokes then that we don't even have outside. cable. <laughs> Can you get cable where you're at? You know, the thing is, the, the fun thing with what we have is that there's always something to do. There, You know, from any, I mean, we come up with all kinds of stuff. Like the chariot race is, was just based on boredom. The guys, <laughs> we figured out how to make the best chariot to get pulled behind a horse and, and go around. We made a racetrack out in the pasture and, and watching those guys go around there was absolutely hilarious, you know, and, and things like pulling Harry's tooth out. You know, that was just something that he had been talking about for a while, and he needed his tooth pulled. He didn't feel like making a trip all the way to town, so just laid him down on the dining room table and pulled his tooth out. Yeah. Just, you know, our, our annual whitewater rafting trip, and going out, and the three families, we each have our own boats and, and race down and stuff like that. It's just, it's just a lot of really fun stuff to do, even when we're not hunting. I was going to say, it sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, well, I know we're, you know, I'm going to let you guys get going, but before uh, we wrap up, we like to do uh, on Next Level Radio what's called a rapid fire when we end our interviews. It's just basically, uh, since there's two of you, I only did two questions. Usually I do about four, but I'll, I'll, I'll ask each of you individually. They're just uh, two quick questions, kind of, you know, fun questions. That's kind of the first thing that comes to your, to your head. Uh, so, uh, Kelsey, I'll ask you first. Where's your favorite place to visit? Uh, the Middle Fork of the Salmon River. Okay, and kid, how about you? My favorite place? Yeah, it's a visit. Uh, Bear Valley. Where was it? I don't know. Headwaters of the Middle Fork of the Salmon. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know where either of those are, but I'm sure if I'm ever out that way, I'll, I'll have to uh, l- look into it. They're both in the Frank Church River No Return Wilderness. Okay. The largest wilderness in the continental U.S. Wow. See, we're we're kind of I, I feel like we're a little sheltered over here on the East Coast. Sometimes, I mean, wilderness here is is maybe, you know, uh, we go to Northern PA where it's just a bunch of mountains and stuff. I'm sure wilderness for you guys is is a little more. Uh, there's a lot more of it out there, I guess I should say. Yeah, well, the Frank Church is about 2.3 million acres, <laughs> wow. and so it's even bigger than Yellowstone. Yellowstone's 2.1 million acres. That's incredible. Um, but it's no room. You can't even have anything with wheels. <laughs> uh, last, last very, one. Very, very protected. And, and Kelsey, I'll ask you first again. If they made a movie about your lives, uh, who would you want to play you? Oh, my gosh. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I I don't I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about you, kid? Angelina There you go. Angelina Jolie uh, for Kelsey. Please. Oh, yeah. I'm going Brad Pitt or Tom Cruise. Okay. Uh, I mean, I mean, if Angelina and Jolie, I guess you got to go Brad Pitt, right? John Wayne. Did you say John Wayne? John Wayne, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, and, and, kid, you're you're only uh, 27, right? Or are you a little older than that at this point? Uh, no, I'm 27. Maybe 28 this month. Okay, yeah. I, I'm, I just turned 27 a couple months ago. So, I mean, it's crazy to think... Uh, you know, how how different, you know, I, I mean, I'm in a, a much more, uh, I guess, not industrial, but, you know, it's a, there's not that many woods. And, and I like I said, I, I love the outdoors. So, I mean, it it's crazy to think, you know, I'm sure you, you've been doing this ever since you were a little baby. I mean, uh, I, that's got to be quite an experience for sure. Yeah, I, I think I rode my, my first horse the day after I was born. Um, <laughs> wow. My dad picked me up. We got on the horse, and we went and gathered cows all afternoon. It was a colt. It wasn't even a broke, very well-broke horse. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, the uh, horse had only been rode, I think, four or five times. That, that is that is really awesome. Um, you know, well, I want to make sure uh, everybody tunes in to True TV on Monday for the premiere of Way Out West at 10 p.m. Um, for more info, you can go to TrueTV.com. I want to wish you guys the best of luck on the show. It looks really good. I actually got to see... Uh, much of the first episode, and I was laughing uh, most of the way, especially when when they were uh, on the urine ranch. So uh, I want to thank you two for uh, for coming on again. I really appreciate it. Well, thank Great. you very much. Thank you. Uh, thanks again for uh, everybody who's listening to Next Level Radio. Head to nextlevelradioonline.com for more shows and guest spotlights, and make sure you subscribe on iTunes as well. That wraps it up. I'm Adam Gorey. I'll see you next time.